All right, welcome back. Thank you for standing by, my friends. Uh, welcome to a little bit of Castlevania. We'll do a couple more attempts at this. Uh, I've been working on a challenge run of uh, the original NES Castlevania. Uh, the goal is to beat it with only the whip and to beat it in a single life. So whip only, deathless. I've gotten real close. I've gotten real close, but it hasn't been able to happen yet. But that's all right. We had a huge victory in Dark Souls, so no matter how this goes, that's all right. I'm at peace. <laughs> and maybe that's uh, maybe that's where I need to be to pull it off. Let's hope. Let's hope so. But uh, we'll start up attempts of this for about uh, about an hour or so, maybe a little longer. And uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully have a second great success for the night. Uh, Conga says, "I like that banjo frowny." <laughs> Thank you. I uh, I'm rather fond of it. I think it's a, I think it's a pretty fine work. Jelly, I think Jelly put that together without any of my input. I think that was all her idea. All right, well, let's see how it goes. Let's see how the game treats me. was close. Uh, that dog was getting close to me. That curtain down there, under this platform, that red curtain, it's just kind of weird. <laughs> that one too. Like they, you know, you would expect them to be hanging up near a window or something, but they just seem to, they just seem to hang in random areas. <laughs> Damageless bat, here we go. That's a rare treat. I could probably jump over that holy water, but why risk it? Thank you. 
Sometimes I jump over the hearts, sometimes I just collect them. I'm not very consistent. No! Medusa killed my run. <sighs> Why do the snakes drop items? That was going really well. Up until that point. I think I ever honored the uh, hydrate that was redeemed not that long ago. I better do that. Oh no, no, I, I, the, the one that you redeemed with the, uh, stretch break. Yeah, I, I remember I got that one. I mean the, uh, the, the second one, um, that, uh, Ness Kessler redeemed. I think I, uh, I think I forgot to do that one. So I'll do it after I beat the boss or when I reset if something goes terribly wrong. It's the last hydrate I can do. Uh, I'm at the end of my water bottle. That was a much needed self-care redeem package too. <laughs> that boss fight was something else. Get, get over here. This is a much uglier bat. What kind of item did I pick up? There we are. We're caught up for sure now.
This is a ugly run, uh, ugly sloppy run. So it might be the one that makes it. We got a good chance because, like, I started off walking in the wrong direction, falling off the platforms. I guess I should have mentioned before, but if anyone's still hanging around that's curious, the next uh, Dark Souls uh, night will be probably Tuesday of next week. I'm not going to have a chance to play it again this week. That's why it's a, a, another good... That's another reason why it's good to leave off where we are with uh, options for stuff to explore because it's going to be easier to remember what to do when we come back. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate VR. You have to wait a long time on that one. I just finished my bottle of water, so... I will honor it, but it's gonna take a while. It's a great spot to take a break. Robots invading our chat. Trying to make me famous. Thank you, Conga. Time to look away. Let me see if I can find a uh, I checked three times to make sure I wasn't accidentally banning VR. <laughs> Thank you for the caution. I did that. I don't remember who it was, but I I I went to click to ban a to ban a bot one time and the and someone chatted right as I hit the ban button and so I hit it on a, I hit it on a human <laughs> that I didn't mean to I am the keeper of the bot spam emote I wield a tentative sword <laughs> all right excuse me just a moment let me grab a drink and we'll uh, and we'll reset this run
All right, I've got plenty of bottles of water now. It's a different brand, it tastes weird. surprised all my all my sort of thoughtless jumping doesn't get me into trouble more often can't really help it though it's just it's just fun to push buttons myself hit a lot. No. That went from okay to like really ugly. should have for uh, dinner tomorrow night, but I think I'm going to have to have bacon and eggs. Because I think I got some eggs that are going to go bad if I don't eat them soon. Thank you. 
I didn't see the warning flashes from that uh, bone tower until it was too late. How you do Medusa damage less than low percent. <laughs> I've even got the power enough whip and I've got no idea how to how to dance around that boss to avoid damage. When one of those birds goes down below the blocks, it's pretty much a certainty I'm going to take damage. I thought that was it, I counted wrong. <laughs> I don't know what that noise was when I was walking on that brick. It made a noise like when a treasure appears, but I didn't notice a treasure anywhere. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, I messed up. All right, we recovered nicely. Snake. Good snake. Fingers crossed. Getting ruined. Ah, Frankenstein, why? Frankenstein just killing all my runs lately. Can't even worry about death. Can't even worry about death because Frankenstein <laughs> ensures I never get to him. Maybe not. Big problems. Big problems. I think it's pretty good policy that any run that gets at least as far as Frankenstein before we lose it, that we just keep playing until we game over. So we can get some extra practice. I don't really want to repeat any level, any full levels. But, uh... At least play until we see the game over screen. Unless we're, like, right at Dracula. Not that I need the Dracula practice, but I certainly need the practice elsewhere. <laughs> that was 44 minutes shorter than my last boss fight. I wonder what the actual time was. Can't wait to see Frowny play Dark Souls 2 someday in the future. So many fun little secrets. We'll, uh, you know, if, if everything goes like I would like, we'll get to it someday. Saving that VOD that must be preserved. <laughs> Thank you, Conga. Hopefully, you know, hopefully it's on my hopefully it's on my laptop right now and I'll be able to have it on you know, saved up on YouTube. Eventually. <laughs> But 
I wouldn't discourage I wouldn't discourage you from making a backup. Greg, welcome back. Any luck? Not in Castlevania. We're on a dead run right now. I'm just practicing practicing the uh, latter parts of the game. And then we'll try it again. I had a lot of luck in Dark Souls, though. That, uh, that horrible pair of bosses I was struggling with. I actually defeated them tonight, so... We get to do something new in Dark Souls the next time we play. <laughs> It'll be so exciting. Very sad. I got one foot in the grave. I got one and a half feet in the grave. I believe I defeated Frankenstein damageless the last one where we actually finally got him. I don't think I took a single hit that time. Uh, can we do, can we get a damageless death? If I'm gonna get out of here on this life, it's gotta be. not meant to be. <laughs> nice. I like when I get the uh, whip upgrades both down there. Not only was that a lot of Medusas flying through all at the same time, but they were they were going in opposite directions. That was a very scary situation. Frankenstein took more attempts than death. 
It shouldn't be like that. I always panic for a moment. Like, I feel like the game is gonna crash. Regulus got quite the chin on him. Someone should make a uh, ROM hack that uh, replaces Dracula's normal head with the head of the uh, old McDonald's uh, mascot, Mac Tonight. It's not actually necessary to kneel next to him to make him jump high, I just, I don't think it is anyway, but I just do it. of your seat adventure. While the credits are rolling, let me take a peek at uh, Dark Souls recording here. Let me just see how long this battle took. Uh, 
All right, we got the victory achieved text at the one hour, 44 minute mark. All right, and I enter the room at 55 minutes. So it was about 50 minutes then. <laughs> that battle lasted almost, yeah, just, just shy of 50 minutes. Thank you for the GGs, Conga and VR. Thank you for the GG. We've got a lot of the, uh, you know, now granted when a run dies, I do start to pick up the meat which is which is not valid for a run so but with picking up the meat with picking up the meat on dead runs i tend to get one credit clears fairly frequently so i know we can get i know we can get the deathless run Wow. Yeah, that was a, that was an endurance test. I mean, part of it, you know, again, part of it was my own making since I 200 percent of one of the guys. Uh. The boss fight was longer than a Castlevania run. That's like it was longer than two of them. That might be the that might be the longest boss fight that I've that I've ever endured in a video game. It's not the longest I've ever struggled with a single thing, unfortunately. Uh, the last stage in Boss of Echo I don't think is ever going to be dethroned, but. Like, so far as, like, single, like, single session boss fight, I think that's the, I think that's the longest. By far. I can't, I can't even think of anything that competes. I talked before about Pikmin 2 and how there was the like a boss made of treasures and that took like that took like 55 minutes to defeat but that wasn't single session we were able to uh, we were able to retreat from that boss and regroup and come back so it wouldn't it wouldn't even really qualify in the same category uh, lurking but heading to bed. Good luck. Thank you, Rush Pirate. I hope you sleep well. 
Thank you for the good luck wishes. I think maybe in addition to casual strats, I should start tagging my stream bogus strats. <laughs> No. Oh. I saw a vision of myself falling into that pit. <laughs> been more grateful to not be clairvoyant. I 
That's even worse. The old reset. I dressed up like Simon Belmont for Halloween one year. I don't know if I've ever shared that. I, de I designed a, a costume and that was kind of based off of a uh, kind of based off of his uh, appearance in uh, Castlevania 2 uh, but also a piece of uh, a piece of artwork that I think was related to Castlevania 4 but didn't look very much like the sprite from that game but it was sort of a not one for one of any particular Simon but uh, I designed it and, uh, and Jelly made it for me. Because I... I don't know how to make stuff. I can't believe I died to the bat. What? The Captain Inversion. I wish. I wish, Conga. If I were gonna... If I were gonna... If I were gonna dress up like Simon Belmont now, 100% that's what I would aim for. I did not make the properly enlightened decision before. Leo, thank you for the stretch break. Um, that came just a moment too late. We'll, uh, we will redeem it, but when the timer stops. so Either when we are victorious or when we are crying. Just thinking that I'll stretch, Conga says. <laughs> By all means. Now you have to win. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying. I'm trying real hard. That was a good year. Well, I was thinking about that. That's That was a good year to have that costume put together, though, because I ended up being able to use it um, a couple different times because uh, I also wore it when Jelly and I went to the Renaissance Fair.
Jelly had a uh, had a costume too. It wasn't anything in particular. It was just sort of fashioned to uh, to be a good uh, match for the way I was dressed. She made a purple dress that was uh, stylistically similar. Uh, gotta love that permadeath. You know what I should have done? After we finished with Dark Souls, instead of switching back to this, I should have put on Haunted Castle. <laughs> I should have just left the switch plugged in and we could have played that instead. I actually do want to play that again. I think I'm gonna play it off stream. I don't play I don't play very much stuff off stream. I'm kinda of worried that like to beat it is gonna be like a six or seven hour grind fest. I don't know. I don't know that everybody want everybody wants to be put through that again. <laughs> Cuz the last stage, the last stage you basically have to memorize every uh every bat that spawns. You have to memorize their spawn locations in relation to the background to know when to jump and when to whip. And it's rough. It's rough because there's not a whole lot, like, there's not a whole lot of uh, scenery. <sighs> to use as uh, cues. I don't remember when the last time I got hit by that, uh... I don't remember when the last time I got hit by that Medusa was. That's been a while. mistakes. One of the things about about Haunted Castle is like you get weapon upgrades in that game. You know, kind of like you get whip upgrades in this. Um, and you go from like you go from a regular whip to a mace to a sword. And you carry those upgrades through death and across stages, except sometimes you don't. I don't know what it is, but like like you pick up the uh, the whip upgrade on stage two, and it carries over to stage three. But something can go wrong, and you can lose the whip upgrade on stage three. And if you do, you're stuck at the beginning of stage three with a powered down whip. You're better off restarting the game, because the first the first few enemies that you have to get through are so brutal without the uh, upgrade. It's better to do the first two levels again. Yeah, I, uh... I didn't, um... I didn't really understand that for the while when I was playing it. I mean, I still don't know what causes the uh, the upgrade loss, but uh, but I didn't I didn't even notice that like my upgrade went away 
when I was playing it at first, and so I struggled and struggled on stage three. Playing through that game, clearing the first stage was a major hurdle. Like, I feel like it, it took me a couple hours to clear the first stage. And then... Stage 2 is pretty easy. Stage 3 was brutal. Um, 4 and 5, I feel like we're okay. And stage six was again brutal, like a couple hours. The speed run, I think the speed run for that game is 11 minutes long though. <laughs> Yes, we're doing good. I've been a, uh, I've been a little bit, uh, been a little bit zoned out here on this run. <laughs> I've, I've been preoccupied daydreaming about a much worse Castlevania game. <laughs> If you can go back down the ladder there, or the stairs rather, because you can't actually see them on this screen. So I'm not even sure if they exist. And also, it seems like a major transition from that part to this part. So I think probably you can't. Itarama, good to see you, Itty. Welcome in. Thank you for the palms. We are trying our best. Cross your fingers. Here comes Frankenstein yet again. This guy has been giving me so much trouble. Take it, beautiful Frankenstein. The run lives. We had a tremendous victory earlier tonight, Itty, in uh, Dark Souls. I was stuck. 
I don't know when the last time you uh, dropped in was, but I was stuck in a pair of bosses in Dark Souls for three or four nights. I think three nights. I think we were only there three nights. But it was like, I don't know, nine or ten hours uh, across the uh, several streams. And I finally beat them tonight. So I'm I'm riding high. Thank you for the uh, GG, X2. If that flea man had dropped an item, I'm, I, I would have died. Because there would have been no way to avoid it. O and S, yeah, yeah, that was rough. It took, uh, it took 50 minutes. <laughs> the battle was 50 minutes long. There were there were a couple close calls too. There were one one for sure. Everyone everyone thought I was dead at one point. <laughs> they took me down. They took me down to like a single pixel of health. <sighs> I just barely managed to, to hang on. Oh. Was a, there was a lot of drama. Death, we're coming for you. No, don't hit me. Spot. I feel like I'm getting hit by death more than the scythes. Let's go, the run's still alive. Fingers crossed, if we make it past the bats, we've got a real chance. I've been doing real bad with the bats lately, though, I gotta tell ya. No, don't come for me!
That's okay. That's expected damage. <laughs> Come on, give me a good bird. Give me a good bird, game! shot. Don't trip at the finish line. Uh-oh. Wow, I haven't been hit by fireballs in a long time. That kind of... Uh... I've been... I've been shaken. <laughs> the game my friends we've done it that's the deathless whip only castlevania no items oh my goodness <laughs> thank you for the ggs thank you thank you uh, x2 cap sid thank you leo thank you congo congo for the celebratory emotes Thank you, Greg, for the congrats. Oh, that feels good. What a wonderful night. This is a night of achievements. <laughs> well played. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, what a stunning night. Oh, we've had some amazing victories tonight, my friends. We've had some good times. I think we're going to wrap it up. I think we're going to wrap it up here. I um, can't think of anything else to do. <laughs> and I'm crazy tired. Oh, there's a lot of good people uh, streaming right now. find us a raid target my friends thank you very much for uh for being here for the stream thank you for celebrating these achievements with me for having faith in me <laughs> when i so very often do not even have faith in myself it's uh boy it's a struggle sometimes it's a struggle sometimes getting through these games but it feels really good 
feels really good to make some uh, make some progress, to make some achievements. Let me write down what is today's uh, date? Uh, Twenty two November, Castlevania. So I should be back tomorrow night. Tomorrow night's probably the last night I'm going to stream this week. I don't expect I'm going to be able to stream um, after tomorrow night because of the uh, the Thanksgiving holidays. Um, tomorrow night on the stream, we're going to play uh, some trash games. <laughs> I have so, I have some things in mind, and I've got some backup, some things that, uh, for backup if the ones I want to play don't work. I've got some. Uh, I've got a couple of untested games. <laughs> So we're going to play some trash and we're going to call it Janksgiving. <laughs> so hopefully uh, hopefully I'll get to see you for that. And if uh, not for that, then uh, something else uh, when we pick back up again with the uh, regular sort of uh, nightly streams uh, next week. Next week we'll be working on, um, uh, we've got Hercules uh, on Nintendo 64. We've got Survival Kids on Game Boy Color, uh, Operation C, and more Dark Souls. Might even be a little bit more Castlevania in there. I'm I'm tempted to go for a damageless any percent run at some point, but I might let it rest a little while too. We'll see. <laughs> You've earned some fun trash. I hope it's fun. I hope it's fun. I uh, like I said, I haven't tested it, but I've got a good I've got a good backup. So even if the thing I want to play doesn't work, I've got a very fitting trash game in reserve that we can play instead <laughs> uh, so I'm going to send us in the direction of Vance Velez uh, Vance has been a good friend of the stream he comes in, chats with us, sends us raids so it'd be nice to check out his channel Re Vance uh, is doing a challenge run right? Vance is, uh, is plays a lot of retro games and plays them really well and right now he's doing uh, one credit clear attempts of Legacy of the Wizard, which is actually a game I haven't played, so I'm not going to be able to watch the stream too closely because I, I plan to do that one myself someday and don't want to be too heavily spoiled. But uh, it's always a great place to, uh, to lurk in Vance. It's a really, uh, a really great guy to hang out with. So uh, come along, check out his uh, channel. I'm sure you're going to like it, my friends. But uh, that's it. That's it for me. Um, one last time, thank you very much for being here. I hope that I'm going to get to enjoy your company again in the very near future, my friends. That's all I have for you for tonight. It's time to head out. Let's go on an adventure. <laughs>